Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Thursday. <laughs> you know, the only reason that I knew it was Thursday is because I know I'm leaving on a trip tomorrow and I know that my trip is to Atlanta and then I leave for Atlanta on Friday. That's the only reason I knew because I was just about to say happy Wednesday. It's been one of those weeks. I have to tell you guys, I'm a little, I was just putting my hat on in the restroom. I was trying to put this hat on. I haven't worn it in a while. For some reason I couldn't get it on. Um, but anyway, I was putting my hat on and I was thinking about coming out here and shooting this vlog and I'm like, I'm just disappointed. I'm a little disappointed in my um, intensity, workout intensity this week. You know, I started off the week sick and I talked about this earlier in the week. It, it really, for me, I don't know about you guys, but like if I go, if I fall off the wagon, you know, and by falling off the wagon, for me right now, it means falling off the wagon with my consistency and with being sick over the weekend and not working out on Sunday and not working out on Monday, it just, it, you know, it, if you allow it to, it puts me in this state of automatically on Tuesday, I'm like, oh, you know, I just don't feel like working out, I'm tired, I haven't had enough sleep. You know, it's like you automatically start leaning towards what you've done recently. So all I'm saying is I just feel like this has been not a high intensity week for me and I'm gonna have to change that in a few minutes with my workout. So um, I also just thought I'd share something else with you. I don't know if you can see. Can you see back there? Maybe not. Maybe I adjusted my camera so that you can't. But this is like the story of my life right now and how there's so much going on in my head and in my schedule that things fall by the wayside and really working on putting some processes in place in my life so that I can, what's that? Um, so that this kind of stuff doesn't happen. Remember when I went and I was traveling for that like four weeks straight and I came back, my stupid water bill, which is right here, blasted water bill, the only thing, what ridiculous is this? The only thing that you actually, there's no website and you actually have to mail it. So, got my stupid water bill out here to make sure I mail because I'm leaving for Atlanta on Friday. I get back on Sunday, then I'm back for two days. I have two packed days when I'm back. Then I leave Wednesday for LA, getting back on Saturday, Saturday night. Then I'm home one day on Sunday and I leave Monday for New York. Um, we're in New York until Thursday and then I, oh, I have to book that flight. Um, then we leave Thursday. Uh, I literally have to write myself a note about this, you guys. Um, I don't have a piece of paper here. I'm gonna have to write it on my water bill. Not that I care. Um, Boston. Then I leave for Boston on Thursday and get home on Saturday. So we're looking at some crazy travel again, but <laughs> these are the two things that I, this is the story of my life, is like running out of stuff and I have to, oh, that's a good song. Yellow Leadbetter is one of the best songs on the planet. Um, I'm all out of dishwasher detergent or whatever that's called. I'm out of vanilla for making those um, amazing chocolate ball things because um, you need vanilla. So I actually have to like literally, I, I guess I could make myself a list, but I had to set these over there to remind myself to put this on the list. I had to set up my <laughs> water bill so I remember to like pay my water bill before I go, put a stamp on it, put it in the mailbox, because otherwise I just put things in stacks and they don't actually um, get done. So, welcome to my life. This is where I told you guys I could really use someone to just like live in my house with me, follow me around. <laughs> that sounds really subservient and I didn't mean it that way. Somebody that could just follow me around and go, wait, put it like this. What'd you say? What'd you say? Okay, okay. Or tape record everything where I'm like, ah, oh, do this. Or what did I just say five minutes ago? And they could like record me and play it back. That's what I really need. Someone to be my short-term memory. Does this exist? We'll have to discuss that. Um, but anyway, Mr. Flo, there you go. You guys have sent me some really nice comments and I appreciate it. Um, I feel like I'm making progress. I'm feeling good. I'm trying to be patient with the process. Because you all know I would love to wake up tomorrow and be 10 pounds lighter, but that's not gonna happen. So um, I am on my way. I feel great. Um, 
you know, when I put that post up yesterday about it was it was really cool to go to lunch, and I swear to God, you guys, I opened up this menu. We're at this great place downtown by uh, Millennium Park, and I opened up the menu, and I wasn't like looking at at, at a Reuben or a cheeseburger or anything, and going, oh, that's what I really want, but I'm gonna have fish. I didn't have that attitude. Like I had this attitude of. What's really exciting and awesome that I can try? And I tried that Kobeo fish and it was on quinoa or couscous. And then we had that beet salad. It was amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Like I'm really, I, I have to tell you, my food, my diet is, is not, um, it's not a concern. It's not um, my, my issue. That certainly has been an issue in the past with um, being on the road, either not eating enough or eating some junk food or, you know, kind of miscalculating, not not keeping track of, you know, how often I'm like, eh, I'm with a client, I'll just have a dessert. And then you don't work out, so you have dessert that night and then you go to lunch and you're like, I'll just have a sandwich this time. So you, it's not necessarily crazy bad choices, but you have a lot of that. And then coupled in with, if you're not getting your workouts in all the time, you just get into a habit and you're doing a lot less and maybe eating a lot more than you think. All that stuff adds up. And as you get older, it all becomes more and more important to make all of these right choices. Um, so I'm willing to do it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm willing to do it. And I'm feeling really good about it. I really am. So um, excited to go down to Atlanta. We're doing the Dirty Girl Mud Run. And I haven't even figured out what I'm gonna wear. But I don't think, I've seen some people wear shorts. It's gonna be really hot. I don't think I'm gonna wear shorts because I just, I'm sure mud is going to be all over. It's going to seep through all your clothes. But the thought of wearing shorts and having mud go up my shorts creeps me out. So I think I'll probably just wear, you know, like my um, workout pants, my black workout pants. I'll wear maybe one of my Nike tops to hold the girls in. Um, I'm just trying to decide, should I wear a hat? Would a hat like be, I don't care about how I look, you guys. That's not my point. I'm saying, would you wear a hat and then like when you're in mud and it's dripping, would it be like dripping in your eyes? Is it better to just wear your hair back? I'll have to look that up. But anyway, we will be in Atlanta for the Dirty Girl Mud Run. You can look it up on Saturday. And uh, yeah, you'll see plenty of pictures, plenty of video. I only can imagine the kind of emails I'm gonna get about this, um, which I've already gotten. Thanks, some of you. Um, but that said, the other thing I was pointing to is I don't think you can see my stove back there when I was talking about this, this me having to like leave stuff like this on my counter. So I remember to write it on my list. Cause if I threw this into the recycle bin right now, I would not remember. And then I'd go for like the fifth time to wash a dish in the sink and go, dang it. There's no soap. This little piece of hair is on my last nerve. Um, so I put vegetables in the uh, oven to roast, went into my office, started working. And then I'm getting ready to come in here and I'm like, oh crap. I hope the timer didn't go off. It was only half an hour. And of course I came out here, missed the timer. And my vegetables are a little bit caramelized, if you know what I mean. So this, is, this stuff happens with me all the time. What else happened when I was sick um, on Monday? And all I wanted, the only thing that sounded like it would be good on my tummy was I wanted plain mashed potatoes from Kentucky Fried Chicken, okay? Don't judge. I know they're probably not even real mashed potatoes. So I get in my car, drive up to Kentucky Fried Chicken, and I go to pay for it. And the woman's like, uh, this card's not working. And I'm like, excuse me? You know, like, why would my card not work? And then I'm sitting there and I have this aha moment that, oh, my bank sent me a letter that said they had a security breach and they were sending us all new cards. And just, you know, so as soon as you receive it, you, you know, your other card's gonna be canceled. And I had this moment of, I know that thing just came in the mail the other day and I don't have it. So there I am having to drive all the way home and I called my mom and I'm like, I'm so upset, I just wanted my mashed potatoes and my car's not working because of this, blah, blah, blah. And I was so pissed that I forgot to replace my card with the new one and I just was pissed and so I came back, got my right card, went back and used that card and I was just pissed because that's what happens is I, I get my mail and I open it and then I put it in a stack and then I've got all these stacks of things that have to be done and I'm trying to get organized and it's, some of it's happening and some of it's not quite happening, but we're getting there. I did really get a lot of stuff organized last week um, with my work um, and it's getting better. So all you can do is get better each day, get a little better each day, right? That said, I gotta go see how my lunch looks. It's gonna be a little Cajun. 
or a little blackened maybe is what I'm looking for. But I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a great weekend. Um, yeah, I will, uh, I'm going to bring all my video stuff down there and I should be able to upload it. But you know, I am going to be staying at a friend's house while I'm down there. So it might be a little delayed, but I still will honor my commitment to blog every day. You know it. So I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.